Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to talk about server transfer, starting on a new server, how you can transfer your items from your current server to the eternal land and after that to the new server. We will also talk about what to do before you transfer, how the transfer works and we'll do the transfer in this video. We will also talk about the good and the bad aspects of this current server switching implementation and some tips for you on how to get more star chrome. Okay, so first of all, if your server has reached phase 6, if not when it does, then you will be in the settlement phase. Basically, you will have another month to play on the same server, complete all your quests, gather all the materials, all the blueprints and so on, or you can sign up for a new server. On the 18th of August, two new type of servers opened up. So first of all, we have the evolution call, which is the PvP type of servers, and we have the manibus, the PvE type of server. These are the same scenarios that appeared when the game released, but now they have a higher difficulty and some more challenges depending on the server you choose. Okay, so let's briefly talk about the PvE servers and how to choose one. The first difficulty that we all played on was novice, so now we have normal and hard difficulty. Normal difficulty doesn't really bring too many challenges and that's why most of the people chose or are choosing the hard difficulty servers and the devs announced that they are monitoring this issue and they will open up more hard difficulty servers. You can see the difficulty by this shield here, if it's green, difficulty uh, normal and if it's red, uh, that difficulty is hard. When you choose one, you will be able to read about the survival challenges, the combat environments, the rewards. The Star Chrome rewards for completing season goals are increased by 20%, so you will be able to get more items from the Wish Machine. Another aspect of these new servers is the Deviant Invasion. Depending on the server you choose, you'll have two super anomalies that you can counter with specific skills. Like for the server we sign up, we have Void and Balance. To counter Void, you'll have uh, Anti-Void Cradle Override, Unstable Bomber and uh, Power Surge Damage. And for the Balance Super Anomaly, we will need to use uh, the Anti-Balance Cradle Override burn damage or frost vortex. I will show you in a moment how to identify the enemies that have these super anomalies because not all the enemies have this. Other servers can have other anomalies like phase and coherence that are countered by shrapnel, uh, fortress warfare state, bounce or fast gunner. Make sure you read these descriptions before you choose a server. After you choose a server you need to wait until that server is available and it's open. But at any time before and after it's open, you can unregister and sign up for another server. One other option for the server is what will the wish machine drop. And there will also be some new calibration blueprints. You can get those the old fashioned way by disassembling dropped gear or by defeating super anomalies. Okay, let's talk about a couple of things that I recommend you do before you actually switch servers. First, don't forget to do your weekly purification. This will add up to 4k star chrome. To your bank that you can use on the new server. Another reminder is go to the season shop, go to the Star Chrome crate page and buy every crate available. And also double check at the end to see if you got all the crates. Also if we are talking about Star Chrome, if you haven't used the codes from the dev live stream, you can use these codes to get some extra Star Chrome. There should also be a global event right now for reaching 10 million global downloads. So make sure that you claim that for free for another 2000 Star Chrome. Since you will be able to use some items from your current server to the new server, I would suggest for you to unlock, if you don't have it yet, the advanced chainsaw and the advanced drills. This will make your life easier on the new server in the beginning, because you need to gather a lot of resources like wood for charcoal and different type of ores and having these items will actually make things a lot, a lot faster. Be aware that items like the solar drill will be lost because they are tied to the memetic specializations and those items do not carry over. So make sure that you craft some advanced electric rock drill and advanced logging chainsaw. When the timer for the new server reaches zero and the server did open, you will be able to start on the new season. You will need to confirm and all the items that you currently have on the existing server will be transferred to the eternal land automatically. You don't have to do anything. Also, your base blueprint will automatically be saved for you to use it later. 
Once you confirm, you'll be redirected to the menu and you'll see that you'll have pre-selected the server that you chose and you just enter the game normally. At the beginning, you'll also be informed about what resources are uh, inherited. You'll see that I have 35k Starkroom in my bank that I'm gonna use on this server and all the other currencies and items that you had in your backpack or in your base. These are now in your space-time backpack. You will also be informed about the resources you lost. As I previously mentioned, solar drill, for example, is not carried over and backpacks and special items that you get from unlocking specialization in your memetics. The Rosetta passes are also lost, but it's easy to get some others. You'll also be notified about the task mode. Basically, if you want a simplified version or if you want the complete version, in the simplified version, you don't have to talk with all the people, you just have to go from point A to point B to complete the, the quest. But if you want the full experience, you can go for the complete option and talk with everyone. Maybe you want to go through all the lore again. You will get the same task rewards regardless of which mode you choose. Once you start in your backpack, you'll only have some basic stuff, some food and some tea, the butterfly deviant, which you start with, and that's about it. But you can go to the space time backpack and there you'll see all the items from the past season and you'll have an option to transfer them into the current season. You'll have all your weapons, all your gear, all the items that you farmed, everything will be in that backpack and basically in the eternal land and you need to choose what items you want to bring to the new server. But there is a catch. You only have 20,000 points that you can use to actually select items to bring to the new server. Okay, so how do you actually transfer items from the eternal land to the current server? One of the first things you'll do on a new server is actually build a base. Your base will come with an isolated securement unit and this is the best time to actually bring our favorite deviant to the current server. You'll need to open your space time backpack, hit the transfer button and go to the deviants page. Here you can select your favorite deviant. I'm gonna use this canine skull uh, with a skill rating of four. And you can see that the points decreased by 800 points, which is the cost of transferring one deviant. You then hit confirm, open your inventory, and there you'll see the items that you transfer, in this case, the canine skull, and you can use it as usual. One thing to note that items transferred from the previous server to the current server will be bound to your account for six days so you cannot trade them or drop them i was honestly a bit disappointed seeing the cost of each individual item that you can take to the new server for an advanced electric rock drill it takes 3000 points for an advanced chainsaw it takes 2.5k if we look at the weapons this bullseye uh, sniper rifle takes 6000 this boom boom that i got takes 10,000. I think the item score is way too high. You won't be able to transfer that much. So you will have to grind your way up there. On the other hand, bringing a tier five weapon to the lower level areas would be overpowered. And another thing is that you cannot actually use this tier five because the level required for this weapon is at least 40. So there is no point of bringing tier five weapons. If you want to bring weapons to the new server, just make sure before you transfer, you craft the tier one weapon. You can use all the materials that you have, calibrate it up to plus 10, and then you can use it for 20, 30 levels on the new server. Some things that you actually keep without doing anything are the mods that you gathered on the previous server. So you can just equip this straight away from your mod pack. Going back to what items you should transfer, I would basically say a chainsaw and a drill. And you can pick some of your favorite deviants, maybe your best Digby boy or beaver, your combat deviant. This depends on your preference and the deviants that you already had. If you want, you can also bring your favorite fish to put it in your aquarium at your base. Another thing, if you forgot any crates, like I did here, the butterflies emissary crate, do not transfer those and waste your points. Just go to the eternal land, open your backpack, and use the items there because these are bound to your account. I actually got an activator which I don't need to transfer and I got some cosmetic tokens which are linked to the account and not to the server that I'm playing right now. Okay, so I was telling you about anomalies and that these new servers can have enemies with anomalies. This is how they look like. 
so you'll see an icon next to the level of the enemy. This means that in order to defeat this enemy, you'll actually need to use a counter skill or cradle override. If you go to the season and to the season tag, here you will be able to see while in game, what the super anomaly is that you are facing and what counter you need to use. In this case, I would need burn or anti-balance cradle override. Not all the enemies have super anomalies, at least not in the starting areas, but I guess the higher level area or the silo we are doing, the more enemies will have super anomalies. I just hope we won't have to face two anomalies at the same time because we'll need to make some tough decisions. Another thing to mention is that the unique items that you can buy from vendors like accessories, this will be sold out if you already bought them. So before switching servers, you can also go and buy every accessory and every item from the vendors that you want. These accessories can be used in the new server, so they are, so they are carried over. If not, you will have another chance to purchase them in, on the new server. The other items that are not unique, they will be reset and you can buy again mods, crates, controllers and stardust sources and so on based on the seasonal limit. Once you unlock and build your gear shop, you will have access to all the blueprints that you have unlocked in the, on the previous server. All the stars on the blueprints are kept and you will be able to craft again what weapons and armors you want. Another way to get an extra 500 star chrome is to link your Discord account again because for some reason it shows up as not linked and when you link your Discord account you can actually claim 500 more star chrome. I'm not sure if it works the same for the community rewards. If you follow on TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and so on, because I didn't actually use all my social accounts to follow them. But if you have previously, and now you have the option to get another 180 star chrome for each, let us know in the comments so other people can profit also. One final thing, like I mentioned, if you go to the house blueprint, you will find here your previous house blueprint already saved here so you can use it if you want or you can build yourself a new design. If you enjoyed the video hit the like button, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the new videos and see you guys next time. Bye bye!